<clears throat> All right. So, we want to look at these. One of our requirements is we have to look straight at a hole, right? Yeah. When we were talking about making views, that was one of the requirements. So, if we look at it from the side view, can we see these holes straight on? No. So, would a side view of this thing Did the side view of it? What would we see? Would is there anything really useful from that side view? From looking at it straight forward? No, not really. It's that way. Well, well yeah. Well, the angle of the layout. No, because no, you see the angle here, right? Two. Yeah. Yeah, it'd be ellipses, right? Yeah. Yeah. There, it's an angle, so you'd have be ellipses, not circles. Yeah. So. How do you think we should draw this thing? How should we go about drawing this? What views should we use? ISO. No, we don't. ISOs are for just for information. That's that doesn't count as a view. Thirty degree angle. No. Well, back, like back view. So oh, back right. view. Should I have this view? Yes. Yeah. I should use that. That could be my front view, right? And the right view. view? Right view? Does that give me anything new? No. Well, it's going to give me, you can show the, can't you show the angle? No, you can see, the, I see the angle here, right? Yeah. Does, does this can, show me? Can you do a front view yeah. that's at an angle so you can see the whole straight off? If I looked at it that way, right? Well, yeah. That did. would give you what I want, right? I want to look straight down that hole? Yeah. So I actually want a view that's looking at it like that, right? Yeah. Right. What else? Is there anything else on here that I need? No. Uh, I need to, to any of you to show? You can dimension everything from those two views. Really? Except about the slot. What about the slot? What about the slot? <laughs> on the exit view? You're going to get that on the exit box. But then it's not going to be true size, right? Because I can't measure this distance when I'm looking at it like that. Because it's going to be foreshortened. Yeah. A side view, a right view, and a back view. Yeah. Well, you would need three views then. Yeah, well, I need three views. But the right view is not going to show me anything. I already decided that. No, but it'll, no, but it'll give you the length. If I did a top view, Yeah. Well, top now view. I can see the slot. Yeah. So do I need to see all this in the top view? No. 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 So what we're going to do is we're going to do a partial auxiliary view. So auxiliary, all we care about is this part. And on top view, we're going to do a partial top, so all we care about is that part. Does that make sense? Yeah. So we don't, there's no, no reason to draw the whole thing in the top view, because this is just going to be, it's not going to give me anything new, right? So we I can see the, the two different things here and the spacing here. Wouldn't you? Go this way, I'll see the circles. Go to the top, it's just going to be ellipses, nothing new. But you wouldn't draw a, an entire view just to give relationships to the partial view? Maybe, or maybe that might be where the isometric comes in. To see the whole thing as a, as a whole. But from our orthographic views, I could draw a full top view. But then if they just or move their point, they could just see what it's yeah. related to too. Yeah. yeah, so we'll do that. We'll draw it as a full view, and then we'll cut off to make partial views so you can see kind of how it worked both ways. But on the auxiliary, this we're definitely only doing a partial. There's no reason to do a full, the full part as an auxiliary. That's way overkill. Okay. So let me grab a tape measure. partial you can see the difference. You can see how much work it would have saved. Is there times when you do want to do a full top view, 
or a full side view in addition to the auxiliary. Yeah. Yeah, depending on what it is and how a it's set up. or something. You, you might want to do that. Um, like if it was a... a plate. A gasket. Yeah, there's... Gaskets are flat. Yeah, a gasket you wouldn't need. Help you, right? That's all the only thing you have. But if I had this... No thickness. You just put that up to the side. Yeah, that's right. If I had something like that, this is at an angle. I could see it this way to see the angle of it. But then, if I only did a partial top view and a partial auxiliary, I wouldn't know where it lined up, right? So I'd have front view, partial auxiliary, partial top. And I wouldn't know where along that that thing is, right? So in that case, I'd at least want to do <coughs> kind of a something like that, so I know that at least where that's going to be, not just the view. So sometimes you want to do a full, sometimes you do just a piece of it, sometimes you do more. It kind of depends on what you're drawing and, and how much of it you really want to show. <coughs> But you just did talk to her. What was that? Nothing. Go ahead. I mean, you wouldn't show this on, you wouldn't use, I guess there's no need. You just show it a straight on view and just show the angle of descent, right? Yeah, because I see the angle right here. Right. And this I could see that piece. This I could see that piece. It's not drawing a scale here. Yeah. Right in a room. But, I could do that without this piece, but then I wouldn't know where along that this piece is supposed to be. So you want to show something to see where that is. You don't necessarily have to draw the whole thing. This one though, so this square, it's not a big deal to draw it all the way, right? When you start having arcs and, and holes and things in it, it becomes a little more complicated. You might not want to do that, or slots or whatever. Simplify it, make it easy to draw. Because this view, everything is, I'm looking at it, and I can see everything. So I want this view to be full. Because this gives me the angle, it gives me the length of these things, it gives me the thicknesses of everything. This one, nothing's foreshortened. Everything I'm looking at, I can actually measure. Right? So, that one full. These, when I do partial views, that's because this one, <coughs> all this, I can't measure any of that, right? Thank you. If I'm looking at it like this, I can't measure that because I really need to measure that, not that. Yeah. Same thing if I'm looking here, I need to measure this measurement, not that measurement. <clears throat> and so, so I don't want that, I want to have that measurement. And so, because it's foreshortened, I can't measure anything. It really does me almost no good except for as just kind of for information. The whole point of the drawings is to be able to measure things and, and show measurements. If it's not showing you a measurement, it's not clarifying something, it's not needed. That might be a stupid question. Yeah. What? Can you explain the foreshortened part? If, you look, if it's not looking straight at it, if you're looking at it at an angle, it's foreshortened. Okay. Because you're not looking at the true distance. Oh, okay. Like this. Now you see me. Gotcha. So let's see. So I thought, I thought with that angle, you were just focusing on that whole part, and it didn't matter if it was for short hand, uh, shorthand. For shortened, I mean. Yep, you can, it, it matters a lot. Because you, you want to see that measurement, you don't just want to see. Because you actually need to be able to see that. You want to see the circles where they're round. And then on this one, the slot, you look at it straight down so you measure it. Because when you cut it out, you're going to cut it perpendicular to it, right? Yeah. You're going to use a mill and you're going to go like that and cut it like that. 
So drawing it like that, they still they need that measurement. Yeah. So you need to look at it straight so you can show them that measurement. Are made. <laughs> yeah. All you got to do is uh, drill a hole, uh -huh. and then, and that's it. So that's luck. Just drill a hole in the center point, and then from there, it, it, it goes over a lot of processes. Yeah. That's, a, that's the, the handcrafter's way of uh, making that slot right there. <laughs> Screw the machines. <laughs> uh, you're making them by hand. You need right. a chisel or two. Guys. Mm -hmm. Chiseling. A little bit of sanding. Huh? Slap that paint on that bad girl. <coughs> you're done. Well, it's going to be drying for me. You should be watching how I'm drawing this. We are. Yeah. We're recording it. <laughs> but it won't be posted till later on. We can ask you to post it right after class. Yeah, can you post it right after class? Depends. This one's kind of important. Depends if we're nice about it. Depends how the rest of the class feels. I drew the whole thing, right? Yeah. yeah. I could have come up. Well, yeah. I drew out the whole side view. As much as I could, right? So I just measured it and drew it out. <laughs> so let's do that auxiliary, because that's gonna be an easy one. So which way should I go? Should I go that way or that way? Should I go in right. from the front? Does it matter? Yes. Yeah. Of the height. You gotta get that whole distance on the front. Well, I guess you have more from the I have that distance here though, right? Yeah. I could dimension that dimension there. So, which way should I go? That way or that way? From the front. Yeah. A, B. A. Hey. Hey. I would do the right side. A. Hey. Because when you go to show the full what, what view, right side? What? I mean the one coming out this way? Yeah, because if, if, when you go to the full view, it would show it, your it's relationship better. Whereas this one's off in space. Does it really matter? It doesn't matter. It's going to show the partial, same thing. So it really doesn't I'm going to cut it, it off. Because it's a partial. Somewhere. We're only focused on I'm that I'm going to cut it off before that corner, probably. Or maybe right at that corner, going straight across. So, so it kind of depends more on how many views you actually have for your part. It depends on what I want, right? So, and, and, and where my other views are. So, like, AJ just said, what other views do I have? So, I'm going to have another view right and here. So, if I have another view here, let's just, let's just imagine it's somewhere here, right? And I try and put that view, I'm going to either have to try and fit it right here or pull it way out here. Well, I can move this view up, right? So if I just pull it this way, then I don't have to try and fit things together, right? Wow. So I would pull it this way. Just because it's a little Going easier. from the top to down? What? From the yeah. right? Yeah, just coming from here, come that way. Because there's nothing else out there. Yeah, because so otherwise... You hate. See ya. Or otherwise I have to fit it in there somewhere, right? So I either have to move this one up. Let's see, that one's kind of right there. So I'd either have it something like that. <coughs> or I could put it down there. 
Uh, loop tape. Is there a difference? No. Could I do it? Since I'm going to do a partial partial view anyways, could I do it like that? Yeah. Yeah, I could do that too, right? Because all I care about here is that slot. I could do a partial view down here. It's that same as that, right? So I could do that too. It just depends on how I want to put it on the paper and what other things on the part I'm concerned about. On this one, since I'm, I don't care about this really, if I was going to keep this, yeah, I don't want to do this on the top, just to make all those visible. If I don't care about it, I'm going to cut it off anyways. It doesn't matter. CAD, you don't necessarily, it's good to know what you want to do, but you can always move it around later, right? That's the beauty of yeah, CAD versus my hand. You know. Is you can do it, and if you don't like where it is, move it. It's just keep it lined up, right? Yeah. So I'm going to draw that auxiliary first. So, actually, let me. How should I go to, to start my auxiliary? Construction line. Do it's construction line, right? Yeah. So I do a construction line there to there, right? Okay. Can you do right? Sure. Sure. I'll go there. Perpendicular to that. Right? That's gonna start where my thing is. Yes. And now I can offset I'm fucking lost now. my width. You just got to be perpendicular to what you want to see. Yeah. The, the whole key is we're going perpendicular to it. So by that one was straight with that line. This one was perpendicular to that. It makes my side. So now I've got kind of the lines define that top curve. <coughs> what can I do now? Because I really want to do this outside and down, right? Do I need to... I don't know where the center of the circle is. Do I need to find that center of the circle right now? Yeah. Or can I use what I have? You gotta find it right now. You need to measure how much it is from the top. What is that? The term? Could you just I can do it a lot of ways from right here, right? I don't have to I don't have to know where the center is. You can do a three point tangent circle. I can do a tangent, tangent, tangent circle, right? Tangent, tangent, tangent. If I had not drawn this line yet, I could have even just done a tangent tangent radius. Since I measured, I knew the radius. Or I can come back and fill it, fill it. Now that's going to be two arcs, so I really don't want to do that. So, actually, I'll just take that off. Let's do a circle, TTR, there, there, and one. Right? That gives me that same two inch, but I need a line on that side anyway, so. I could have done that after I did it, or I did the tangent, tangent, tangent. However, I want. Can you just go T T T T T T T R. Or T T. What about for the tangent, tangent, tangent? Tangent, tangent, tangent. You have to do off the, the pull down. Okay. But one of our options in the circle command is T T R, the tangent, tangent radius. Because the tangent, tangent, tangent circle isn't really part of the circle command. It's a macro. So in 48B, we do macros. This is a prime example of a macro that someone wrote sometime after 2006, I think. Or maybe they wrote it before, but sometime after 2000, 2004, 2006, AutoCAD decided, oh, we're going to stick that in, in just into the version. Same thing with break at two point, or break at one point right here. It used to be just break, but everyone made break at one point as a macro, so AutoCAD said, let's just include it, not make people make it themselves. <coughs> so that's why you can't just do 10 to 10 tangent, because it's not part of the actual command. Yep. <coughs> so we'll just toss that, toss that again. Or shift 
holding shift and selecting it will unselect items. If you pick too much, it's easy to unpick it. A lot quicker than going over and picking one thing at a time. Right? Mm -hmm. Windows, quick. They're, they're not exact, but you don't really need to be exact most of the time. If you do, pick a different way to pick it. <clears throat> so now where I didn't need to make the stop. Yeah, I could make it perpendicular stop to that corner, right at that line, right? Yeah. And since this was at net cream at thirty, my puller's at thirty. That line's perpendicular. If I look at my part, it's actually got a fillet there. See, my part is actually a fillet right here. Uh, and it's actually two pieces, right? Well, it's supposed to be one. Just the way they made it. <clears throat> but that so there's supposed to be a fillet there. Well, what I'm saying is, can we use the same line that they have there to make that one block and then make that other? No, because this is just representing, this is one piece. It's just when they made yeah. this sample piece, they made it out. Well, I'm saying just for the auxiliary, in the view for that auxiliary, just do it right across. Except it. that's not a sharp corner, that's a fillet. If that was a sharp corner, If that is a sharp corner, you can just bring that and use that edge. So you can't really cut that little, you can't cut it across the way he was talking about. You mean like that? No. What do you mean you across, across here? Yeah, and no. use that image. That is not what this part is. Okay. That was used when they made this part, but that's not this part. And that would give you a weird hidden line, I think, anyway. That, 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 that's, that's just something left over from how they made this cheap example. That's not the actual part. That's supposed to be a, a, a plane going all the way up. <clears throat> so if this corner was sharp, though, we could bring that line straight across there. But because that line isn't sharp, we can't have a, a straight line there. So we, we need to have some kind of a short break line. And so where that short break line, we could do it right at that same point where that would have been an edge. Or we can do it up here somewhere. It doesn't matter. Okay. Um, so how do we make a short break line? How do we make a short break line? What is a short break line? Break, break, space, space, break, break, no. space, space. It's like a squiggly. Squiggly line, right? Is it? It's a short break line. We're going to talk about it a couple weeks ago when we did sections. Uh, I don't know. Do you use like the circle thing to the circle? Isn't that how you said it? No. That, that's for the S break. Right. If you're doing round stuff. But here we're doing just a flat piece, so we're just going to use that squiggly. And so maybe we can do it that way. So that's usually nicer to come out this way instead of having to go in. But it doesn't really matter. So what command can I use to make a squiggly like that? Annotate. Squiggle. Spline. Spline. Okay. Right. That's what it was. Uh, I go draw spline. Right. Do, 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 There. <laughs> Look, Pac-Man. <laughs> if I wanted to make it up a little shorter, I could if I want to make these a little bit. Those are kind of extreme. Kind of. On the teacher. <laughs> Depends on the scale of what you're doing, right? Now I'm going to put my circle in the middle of the hole. There's that. If I want to make this up higher to stretch it, Use my track because this is at, at 30 degrees or at 60, and it's one of my polar settings. If this was at like yeah, but then that wouldn't be true. 20 that. degrees. But then when you when you measure from there, that that wouldn't be true for that angle right yeah, at, the, at the break, right? This piece is at 60 degrees. That's again increment of 30, right? 
Yeah. My polar setting is a 30. Means I can draw stuff parallel and perpendicular to that just using my polar snaps. Well, I'll say from the, from the corner where it curves, that's where you have that break for, right? It's no. to designate that that's a curve right there? Where? Yeah, it's not. That's, that's is that well, what that break was this, for? No, the break, so that's this the break is just to show that that's just a piece of the part. Oh, oh this, okay. Yeah, that's I, I wasn't here that they went over that, that particular part, so that's why I was confused. This about. is just showing that I broke the part off. Okay. That's why it's a short break. So I'm not showing the whole view, I'm just showing that part. Oh, okay. Gotcha. This is showing that hidden line. Questions? So, I'm going to throw this down here just to get out of the way for now. Make sure it's still lined up. Don't unline it. <laughs> what would happen if I wanted to put this there? What would I need to do? We'd have to label it. And I'd have to make it a view and label. Remember we talked about that when we did sections? So if I did And the mid one, right? So let's to designate the center. I'm first going to work on just the center. I'll do that, and then I'll work on that other end. Oh. The loop. So I get that part done. Now I can start working on this thing here. I need to know where that center line. That's going to be an important thing, right? Because for the ellipse, I need to know how tall it is and how wide it is. So for how wide, I need to know where the center line is. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to work on just this front face first, then I'll just copy it back. So from this point up, go up to this point. So. Uh, do, do we need to know where the bend is? Center, from there to there. That gives me this outside circle. Center, side, top, right? Does that make 
makes sense there, buddy? Yeah. So that, that's the center line. The width, this gives me a point on the <coughs> top of it. Turn that off. So the bends and all that stuff come afterwards? Like all of the now I'm just going to bring these points right up to here. Yes, sir. You don't show that bend because it's smooth. Oh, okay. It doesn't give an edge. You only, you only see lines where there are edges. Oh. Right. Yeah, there's the bend in the corner here. Yeah. There's no corner. There's nothing no, to project. So. Remember, I only project at the extremes of the circle, so there and there, which there's no point there, so I can't project it, or sharp corners. I don't have sharp corners, so there's nothing to project. Now I can take this and copy that from that point to that point to that point to that point, right? And if I just want to make sure, I can draw from there. Uh-oh. Mm -hmm. no. Can't really do too much crap going on. Mm -hmm. I already moved one too far. So anytime, anytime. So you, that one goes to there. Anytime you don't have a sharp angle, you have to. That goes to the center of that one. Yeah, have another view. So actually for this one, I'm just going to see that much, right? I'm going to take that from there to there. I'm go from that corner. It's going through the midpoint there still, right? So there's my, my two circles. Now are we going to see this, this corner at all? Let's bring that corner up. Yep, we're going to see just a little bit of it right there and there. So I can make that a hidden line inside of there. Right? If I was going to take this, or let's, let's say we want to draw this and show the headline of that, that arc. So I want to show the visible line right here on the arc and the hidden line in the back. How can I do that? Breaking. By breaking. So I break it. And so first, I'll break that one. I tell it first, there and there, right? But now that went away. But over here, I've already got that piece there. So I can just copy that one back over, right? So whenever you're going to do a circle and you want to have part of it hidden, part of it solid, just copy it on one. Usually what I do is I'll just take this, I'll just copy it up like two. And that way I can just, on one of them I turn the outside, one I turn the inside. Uh, when you need move it, that you back down. You put it back down. And then you erase that. That's usually the quickest way if you need to do half of it hidden, half of it not. So that way I can just come back in, cut, okay, that's going to be hidden. <coughs> so that's going to be an object. So if you wanted to, in this case you didn't need to. Well, if I'm going to show hidden lines, I might as well show hidden lines, right? What? That, there's my top view, fully done, right? 
Does this tell me anything at all? Just the size of the. Just the size of what? Of the uh, slot. Exactly yeah. here, right? I can't measure that here. No, the slot in the. What slot? Flat. This. Yeah. yeah. That's, That's all I get here, right? But over here, this side, does it give me anything? Perfect. How long did it take me to draw that? A lot more than it took you to draw the slot. A lot longer to do that. Does it give me anything? Nope. No. So, consider that your lesson. <laughs> <laughs> That's not a lot better. It's a lot clearer. You're not being distracted by that mess, trying to figure out what all that crap is, right? So looking at it, it's easier to see. Drawing it, it's easier to see. So why do all that crap, right? So in this class, or everything you do for me, if you can, do a partial view. Don't don't waste your time trying to fix all that. That if that had something important in it that you can only see from that direction, then okay. Or it adds some clarity to it or something. <coughs> then yeah. Um, There's a simple part. Yeah. Or let's say this was uh, like you're saying. Maybe this part is really. wider down here than it is up there. So from looking at, so let's say it's like that. Now can you tell me where the where this is? Just from looking at this, can you tell where this piece is? If this was wider and this was still the same size, can you tell me where that that's on it now? Center line. Okay, where's the center line? Look at everything that's on the drawing. Yeah, no. Is there anything there that gives you a hint on where that it's, that's positioned? No. Uh, no. No. From this drawing, you can tell exactly where that is. It's going to be centered on it. No. No. Look at the front no. view. What is it? Because that's the headline, so that's the back edge of the... Yeah, because this is headline, so that means that this is all the way up here, right? Because otherwise, uh, this would be a solid line. Right? Now, can you tell where that is? Now, can you tell where this piece is? Oh, it's somewhere, exactly. it's somewhere on the now you have no idea, right? right. You know that it's somewhere beyond right there, which can be a thousandth of an inch, right? So with that hidden line, you'd know that. You, with that, that hidden line, you know it's all the way to the front, because that's a solid plane on the front. But with that a solid line, you know it's back here somewhere. It could be all the way to the back. It could be a tenth of an inch from the front. You have no idea, so you'd have to have something up here to show where that is. Right? And the hidden, and hidden line there tells you that it's in it's positioned right dead smack in the center? Right, no. Right now we have no idea. What I'd have to do is I'd have to draw... When, when the hidden line was there, that means that front plane was all one solid piece. So it really didn't matter then, because it just tells you that it is one whole well, solid if it piece. Well, if he didn't put that hidden line there, it would be, it'd mean that the thing was as wide as the thing. I said a lot of Oh, okay. Does that make sense? Yeah. Oh, if there is no line at all, then you'd know it would... But with the, with the actual dimension, yeah. though, with the actual dimension, that would just mean that you'd have to stretch the circle then? No, you'd have to do something completely different. Completely like, different. Um, it'd be a different part if it was like that. Or actually, it'd be the same part, just blown up bigger. <laughs>
you do something to the system. So even but to show where that piece actually existed. Yeah, but actually you can just do it that way. You do that showing where this is coming up. The two up there. <coughs> and then you have to mention how, how far in that is. Or this might be a time where you'd want to do a partial side view or something. And the partial side view could be just this height of it. Because this one you really don't see much. Yeah. But on the side view. Yeah, but wouldn't that, that, that your top view be a lot easier to do than a partial side? No, because the side view is going to be real quick, right? So all I care about is just the bottom piece. Draw that much, right? Now I can see where that piece is sticking up. Yeah, now I can see exactly where the position is. And so now I'm cutting off a lot. And so now comes this, I can do a short break here, like I did, or I can do a long break. What was the long break? Depend on how much I was cutting off, right? But what what's the long break look like? Zigzag. Kind of. Doing a zigzag. How zigzaggy? What does it look like? Remember, I told you something that it looks like. Like a heartbeat, right? Like a heartbeat. Down. 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 That's a long break. And that'd be a thin line, so I'd put that onto like my text layer. So I could do that. I could do a short break. Depends on how much I was cutting off. Here I'm seeing a lot, a lot less than half of it, so I could do the long break. I could do a short break. <clears throat> if you're gonna do have a real big piece and you're showing just the corner. Then you usually do a long break, but also people do short breaks too, so it really doesn't Perfect. matter. Yeah, just wh whatever you prefer. So, questions? So that's auxiliary views. Um, what was that? That was like the views coming off like very tree. <laughs> so how do you do something like this? Well, the angle doesn't matter, right? You always just make it perpendicular to it. There you go. What about something like this? How do we see that one straight at it? <coughs> we just look at it that way, right? What about that one? How would we look at this one straight? Because we really want to look at it that way, right? So how can you get from <coughs> this to that? Can you take and break it? Could you break it in two pieces and show? Well, oh, you can do a partial view of it. But how am I going to project from this orientation to that orientation? How am I going to get there? Figuring out each piece and... Bring out the dimension on each piece in that angle, in that 30 degree angle. So let's say. Not 30? It's 
It's not always going to be 30. No, but that's what he was saying right now. I don't know what... What angle were you saying to look at? It? Any angle. There you go. Whatever angle this is. This one is 30. Or no, it's at uh, 50 degrees. 50 degrees. It's at 50. So. But... Angle back, so so let's say it's something like that. How would I find how would I look straight at that? Front view, you're still in that 
UCS angle, right? So you change the back. Change the back. Okay. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
So if I look at it, this line here, that was my top corner of it, right? That corner there, that's my bottom corner. See that? So when I go here, this corner here, let's make that line green, I'll make that one cyan. And then this one with my green line, that's a cyan, right? So I can draw a line from that to there. And then this is that, the plane that's that. So I'm just doing that front of that plane, but the back side of that would be the same, right? So I'm looking straight down the side of it. Yes, no. Okay. Let's just look at, let's forget about the bottom of this. So this is this line right here, that's this corner, that's the one that's purple, which is the same as that piece of it there that's purple, right? You, agree? you see that now? That purple line, the same as that purple line, same as that purple line, which is all this edge right here. Okay. Yes. And so it's just it's finding the points. I did. If you need to color code it, color code it. Okay, I think it works. Get that purple line. Right, here, let me let me draw just the front plane in here. So I'm finding the yellow down there a little confusing. Here, I'll, I'll simplify it a lot by just drawing, just having that front plane. Now I just have that. This front, I just have this front surface. Okay. Okay. So now you can, you can see it's just a surface. It's just four points. Making a flat surface there. And that purple edge there, that's the same as this edge, right? Yeah. And so by looking at it straight on the side, now I'm seeing that edge on an angle. So now you're seeing it like this with the, with the angle. I'm seeing that angle there. And then this magenta line is the same as the top of that, right? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. And so now I can measure that angle, or I can just, now that I've seen it this way, now I can turn it and look straight at that piece. So now I can do another.
you see it's not one, draw a folding plane there, and repeat the process. And so remember, no matter how many steps you're doing or different angles, remember, points, and find points, connect the points. That's all we're doing. It's just now instead of going straight up and down and straight across, now we're doing it at different angles. Same exact thing we've been doing. If you need to go like this, if you need to type plan, and turn your view so that way now you're going straight up and down again. Yeah. Is it still two views away? Yep. Okay. I type what? plan. P L A N. Uh huh. Okay. And what's that do? It turns it so you're looking right at the X Y axis. Oh. It just turns your view so you're looking at X Y. Just re recess back to that particular wherever you have the U C S at. Yep. Okay. I type plan. It turns it so so now I'm looking at that. Everything else is kind of off. <coughs> so you're going to have one that's like this. have a couple other. So this one, this is kind of like the example I showed on the on the first slide, right? You have that one, you have this one. What types of views are you going to need for this one? How many views are you going to need for that? Three. Top and the side. And the front. So let's... So we're gonna need a uh, top. I'm sorry, front top. side and top. I'm gonna need. Well, oh, which one's? Which one are we gonna call front? Uh, we can call that front or that front. Well, I was considering that the front, but yeah. so partial, it doesn't matter, right? A partial front. Partial. Because you don't really want to show yeah. the whole mess right there. Yeah, you don't really need to see this, but that's pretty easy. That's not a. That's only one ellipse. So you could do it partial and cut it right there. You'd still be, you still need to have the overall height of it. So if you did a partial and cut it there, that'd be fine. Just remember you're going to have to cut both the top and the bottom of it. Why do you need it? What do you mean why do you need it? Well you need to know the overall height, right? Can't you get that from the side, the, the right view? Yeah, but yeah, you could cut it there. It kind of depends on how you how you lay it out. So you could, I would do it the full height because it doesn't really hurt you very much. Um, we need a view this way, right? How else do we need views? Back view. An auxiliary that way, and an auxiliary that way. A five view. Yep. Some of those views aren't very hard though, right? Yeah. A rectangle in a circle, a rectangle in a circle. Wedge. And then the top view, would you do a full view or partial? Partial. Yeah, just do a partial, just that piece, right? So. There you have what? One, two, five, five, five views. Mm -hmm. So do those two, and then. Three mains and two auxiliaries. Yep, and then you'll, you'll come to this one. If you need help when you get to this one, let me know. We, we can go back over this again when you guys get when people get to this one. Do the other one. Do this the the single auxiliaries first. This one is what we call a secondary auxiliary because <coughs> the primary is going to go this way, looking at it so you can see the angle. And then our secondary auxiliary view is going to go that way. Depends on what you're doing, how often you encounter this. In the work that I did when I was working, I don't think I ever did a secondary auxiliary. So I didn't do I didn't do things that needed it. If you're um, some fields, they do them all the time. So it kind of depends on what you get into is how how often you're going to do it. What fields are those? <laughs> um, things that have things that connect at different angles. 
um, auto stuff holes. probably. But if you get into, as we go up into the parametrics and solid modeling and stuff, and then all you need to know is how to look at it. And it'll do the drawing for you. But you still have to know which ways to look at it to get the view you want. So, but we need to get practice. If you can do this, you can do anything else. Can I just put the lines for which way you're supposed to look at it? No, because we want to go to, to do the projections. and cause If you can follow this out to, to the secondary auxiliaries, you you can do anything in draft. Because any problem you come up with, if you can do those same principles, you can do it. So, just remember, it's just projecting lines, finding dots, and connecting the dots. That's all it is. Just a few more steps along the process. Questions? They're on the eighth drive already. Okay. Yeah. So you have these three assignments to work on, um, and we're gonna kick the schedule back a little bit. Um, we were supposed to be doing fasteners this week. <coughs> so what I might do is just post the, the the video from last semester and have you watch it on your own because it's not too long, and then I'll post the assignment for it um, for you to do. And so I really, I don't think I'll lecture about it. I'll just have you watch the video on your own. Well, that is the lecture. <laughs> that is a lecture. About